You know, it's one of those studies when I read it, I just thought, my first reaction, and I'm just to show, I, I'm not a big person. My first reaction was, oh, I'm so jealous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wish I'd done that. And then I just thought, this is a brilliant paper. I can't wait to teach it. They took a group of people. They looked at their habitual amount of sleep that they would typically get. And these people were getting sort of seven and a half to eight hours. They, you know, and they would ask, you know, when are you going to sleep? And sort of most of them would go to bed like 11 and then sleep through till seven. And then they took them out of that typical, you know, modernity environment. And they took them out to the Rockies. And they had sleep tracking equipment on them. And they took them there for several weeks. And there was no electricity whatsoever, not even a torch, not even a headlamp from a car, nothing. And then they looked to see what changed. The first thing was that these people went from sleeping, you know, an acclaimed seven and a half or seven hours of sleep that that was their norm. Just, it was actually just below seven, saying that was fine. That's all I needed to then actually, when they had no watches, they didn't know when to wake up, no alarm clocks. They ended up sleeping closer to nine hours a night, which is what we typically see when you saturate sort of people away from or dislocate them from modernity. So would you say that's a good sleep duration? So I, well, I think somewhere between seven to nine is what we recommend. But I think when you do this in healthy young people, and these were healthy young people, they seem to acclimate to a sleep amount that was somewhere between sort of eight to nine hours of sleep. So I think it's good evidence that, you know, you can look at how hunter-gatherer tribes were sleeping. And we've studied, you know, these people. And they actually sleep in a strange manner. And we can get back to that. Um, and people have tried to use them as the gold standard as to how we should be sleeping. Because they're a lot more active and, I mean, things yeah, are Yeah, I don't think it's right? a good control. I think we should say, let's take modern human beings and let's just take them out of all context of modernity and let's see how they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Let's just sort of put them on an ad lib buffet of, of sleep and they can just sleep as much as they want. They're not told when to wake up, up and sort of when to go mm -hmm. to bed. And they seem to sleep what we now think of as a natural amount, which is somewhere between, if you look at the distribution, seven to nine hours. And these are younger individuals, sure. Yeah, so, and, and we can speak about, and I hope we speak about sleep and aging. But what was also interesting is when they slept, not just how much they slept, they started to go to bed earlier and earlier and earlier, mm -hmm. and they started to wake up a little bit earlier and earlier. And the total duration of sleep expanded but where that expanded amount of sleep was positioned on the 24-hour clock right. was dragged back because they weren't influenced by these cues of, you know, too much daylight at night. Temperature is another one that I'd love to speak about too. But what's fascinating is that when you look at hunter-gatherer tribes or these experiments um, of, of sort of true nature, um, the natural point of middle point of sleep, the middle phase, sort of time of the eight to nine hour sleep phase came somewhere between midnight and 1 p.m. And I often ask people this question, you know, have you ever thought about what the term midnight actually means? Mm -hmm. You know, it means the middle of the, the soul and night, which is the time when most of us should be in the middle of our sleep phase. But now in the 21st century, we've gone through the, you know, the agrarian sort of, you know, pushed into the industrial era and now into the digital era. Now midnight is the time when we maybe check Facebook for the last time or think about sending that last email. So not only has the duration of our sleep decreased um, through the influence of, um, modern, of the modern times, but also when we're sleeping has been dramatically shifted too. 